Hello everyone. Thank you for stopping by. You gonna see me doing something kind of crazy, but I'm not gonna explain what you're seeing till almost the end of the video. I'm gonna have me a glass of uh, Dr. Pepper, if y'all don't mind. Nice, good diet, Dr. Pepper. Uh, in this book, is what I use from my earlier video I put up. Is their yearbook. So let's get into this, and um, you're gonna say, Jerry, something. Look kind of suspicious about your your drink. No, I'm not completely blind yet. But like I say, stay tuned and you'll see why I did what I did. Okay, now let's get into this audio and let's have some fun with it. Our Bible and Tract Society is the servant of such and merely an instrument which the Lord's people use in the performance of their divinely given duties. Those who are faithfully and joyfully obeying the commands of the Lord are subjected to all manner of assaults from the enemy one his is to be expected. They are learning that God is not trying to get some into heaven, but that he is giving some an opportunity to prove their loyalty and faithfulness and loving devotion to him to thereby demonstrate their fitness for the heavenly kingdom. He is permitting all of the professed ones to be hindered by conditions that would put them to the test. All who can be shaken will be shaken. Only those who by the Lord's grace stand firmly to the end, joyfully obeying his commandments, are the ones that cannot be shaken. Well, what we just got from here is showing something very interesting. Watchtower is an instrument, a tool that the government body use to doctrinate everyone that comes to them. And you heard at that time when this yearbook was put out it was um basically they were still teaching the bible students was going go, was going to heaven sooner or later and we're talking about i think this yearbook was a 1927 from 1914 to 1927 heaven having even came yet but they st still determined that they was going to go heaven but the thing I'm trying to figure out people that uh, I'm putting my lid back on my bottle to demonstrate something Jehovah's Witnesses you are in this bottle. I can dump it. Either way, you're stable inside this bottle. I can keep shaking you. Nothing happens. But the problem is, your religion has been shaken has been exposed because this lid it's like a tool
cool when they start the internet. Looked small, but it was powerful to open you up and drop you out of this bottle. That's what happened to all of us. We was all exposed to the media, the internet, the Bible, the real Bible shook us out of that bot, that bottle to set us free from Watchtower's false teaching. Now, Watchtower has been able to put the cap back on to temporarily patch the bottle so they don't lose no more members. Because the reason why, remember when I illustrated I was going to drink some Diet Dr. Pepper, you notice that looks like more like water? It is. But Watchtower has made us believe by the doctrines and all that. A Dr. Pepper is Dr. Pepper. No, the water is Dr. Pepper. If you taste it, it will taste like Dr. Pepper. The smell of it will smell like Dr. Pepper. Because that's way brainwashing works. To make you believe and something that is a lie. So, you know that bunch of mo the monkeys, they had see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. Same thing with taste. They can't taste the evil. They let their senses to be destroyed because they allow those eight men to mold them just like the potter turning the clay into a vessel and shape them And then when they get to the point, they use the baptism, which I think there's something called a kip, uh, kip or something. Anyway, some kind of hot oven that they bake the clay in, and it comes out to be the pottery. That's exactly the way Jehovah Witnesses are. They don't want to be human. They don't want to have the ability to to be who they want to be. They'd rather be a slave than be free. They'd rather be brainwashed than be open-minded. All the evidence that y'all saw in this glass Bunch of y'all figure out it was water, not Dr. Pepper. But to Jehovah Witnesses, it would look like I was opening up a thing of Dr. Pepper and drinking it out of a clear glass. Everything we have given them, evidence from publications and many other things. They refuse to examine anything because they let Watchtower to convince them you put your trust in us, we will guarantee you 
will gain eternal life. You will be the only survivors on this earth. But the problem is, people, the Bible says only the meek and righteous will inherit the earth. Is Watchtower a tool of truth for Job witnesses to use? Or is it a tool of evil destruction to take the gift of life from Jehovah Witnesses, gift of life from any person who joins this false religion. I mean, if we was able to see through illusional of Watchtower, making us believe that we were drinking diet soda, but only finding out it was water. Do we really want to go back pretending that bottle, that liter bottle, is Dr. Pepper? No. None of us would. I hope this video will get people to understand this audio you heard that Job Witch is trying to convince people that they're the only ones can be shaken but everyone else can be will fall down and be destroyed and they're the only ones going to be standing. You cannot be standing on lies deception that is not part of the promise Christ said the unrighteous will inherit his kingdom the pedophile religion will inherit his kingdom the false prophecies what Sarah has made they will inherit God's kingdom he never said that. In that case, any false religion, any cult, can make it into the new system if Jehovah Witnesses was guaranteed they was going to make it with all their lies and deceptions they had done over the past years, even when there was part of the Bible students movement. So people, it's good to be shaken to get out of false religion. But it's good to be to be not shaken and lose your life when you're still in this false religion. So thank you very much, and I hope this video encourages you to do research. Thank you very much.